emotional intelligence and that's the aspect he is very passionate about he is interested into more of you know is close to the literature sanskrit and all that so if at all any one of you wants to connect with him on the same topic please reach out to him so over to you in everyone's life today i am going to share about the importance of ai and some tools which certainly will help you excel in your professional career as well as personal front so would that be a better use of our time next 30 to 40 minutes say yes great so uh, a long story short i was in malaysia for my first assignment and that was way back in 2000 2000 and uh, i was a fresher a new environment new culture and then what happened one day my manager also was there we were three people three freshers who went to malaysia on a project and we were staying in an apartment manager was with his family and he used to pick up and drop us to the company one day what happened like you know right at that time we don't know about emotions and how emotions play a major role in one's life so in one of the meeting manager said something and i opposed him very strongly because i believe that that's the truth and then he counter attacked me obviously the authority of the manager plays a major role there as well right he counter argued he said so many things to me and i couldn't bear it i started crying my emotions were very high but i don't know what to do but i started making some decisions i don't want to work with this person but i cannot do because i was on a visa everything was sponsored by him so what the least i can do i said i don't want to i don't want his pick up and drop, drop facility i will go on my own so that day i asked some of the colleague to drop me to the apartment and next day morning because public transport was not there and uh, what to do i said okay let me start early i started early and then also i reached late to office it was very painful i don't know what to do and uh, my friends were there they said it's always difficult when you take decisions when the emotions are very high i would suggest you still work with the manager and ask him to pick up and drop i said but now i cannot today morning i just refuse he said don't worry we haven't informed them we just informed that rahul is going to a temple visit and then will directly reach to office so in the evening i started again going with my manager now why i am sharing everything with you i believe that the decisions i took at that moment right everything was based on the emotions the way i responded to my manager again it all emotions i actually reacted i didn't respond right when you go to doctor for follow up and doctor says that yeah the medicines are responding then you are happy but if he says if she says the medicines are reacting is a big problem so reacting and responding is two different thing so decisions are getting impacted second thing is you react rather respond third thing you don't consult other people there are well wishers right but you don't consult you said i am the right i am right and i am going to go my way so these are the things i learned but at that time i would say i was not about uh, aware about the emotional intelligence and the role it would play and still today as well i won't say that i am expert in that but i am on a learning path so emotional intelligence certainly plays a big role in everyone's life let's look at let's 
look at what is the difference between IQ, EQ and AI. So I did one survey and 100% of the survey participants said that EQ is the most important thing in workplace. Do you agree? Yeah. How many of you are agreeing to this? Almost 100%. Some of you who says that AI and IQ is important. Let me give you one example. You can take any example. I would give the example of cricket match. Right? How many cricketers are like god of cricket, Sachin Tendulkar, Dhoni? You might be knowing that they are graduate or they are not graduate. No one cares about it. They are very skillful in their field. That's the most important thing. Now, AI is also playing certain role. But the picture I have given here, right? You might be knowing about sledging in cricket. Right? So many people nodding their head. Right? So sledging is it falls into which part? Which aspect? AI? EQ, right? So everything is getting controlled by emotions. So don't you think that in your professional and personal life, EQ plays a major role and we don't give that much importance or don't spend that much time to understand those things. In, uh, in the morning, we had two sessions, right? Two keynote speaker. Everybody will remember Dr. Srimati Kesan. The way she spoke, right? I had goosebumps. And many of you also would have. What was different? We are meeting that person for the first time. We haven't seen, I haven't seen, and I believe most of you would not have seen her. But still, she was able to evoke the emotions, right? Many of you will certainly look at the space kids. What is it all about? And we'll do some research and they say, hey, where she's getting all these energies and other stuff. So EQ plays a major role in everything and anything we do. So what is emotional intelligence? We all know, but we will have some idea. Anybody would like to try out? Yeah? Okay, so what he is saying is ability to control, manage our own emotions as well as others' emotions as well. Yes. Wonderful. Ability to aware of our own emotions and others' emotions as well. Okay, so how it relates to uh, Scrum Master or Product Owner? Product owner and scrum master, let's talk about the scrum master. We talk about individuals and interactions over processes and tools, right? So what is the major portion there? Is it about AI, IQ or EQ? EQ, very straightforward. Responding to change, customer collaboration, where does it fall? It's all about EQ aspects. How do you work with the customer, right? Do you respond to change? Like respond to change, when it comes, we have to think first whether I should react to the mid-sprint changes in the requirement or I should respond to them. So those are the important aspects. Let me tell you, for any professional, it's very important. So there are two aspects, right? Personal competence and social competence what I see and what I do. So if we broaden this one, we will know about what is emotional intelligence, right? So the four aspects are there. As some of you already said that self-awareness, awareness about myself. Like I did a retrospection of what happened in year 2000, the way I behaved, what I said, the decisions I took, those are different things. But whether I was aware at that point of time, it's very difficult, right? Someone throws you a ball, right? And like a bouncing wall, you will throw them back. The Newton's law doesn't follow there, you know? 
the person with the some intense intensity throws the ball with, on you you will have one two x intensity and then you throw the ball back to them with more because we want to any other example like traffic signals or anything those who are like me i try to follow the processes traffic and somebody who doesn't follow right then it becomes very difficult to manage our emotions i have one uh, technique in the toolkit for that as well though it's about personal life but certainly you can employ all the techniques to professional as well so one is about self awareness and about self management self management will happen when you are aware about the self awareness right you are aware about your emotions and, and what is the best way to do that one what is the best way to be self aware witnessing your own thoughts be in the present retrospective right this is something like from the agile perspective introspection or retrospection right so we do agile scrum retrospectives but do we do introspection and retrospection for ourselves how did my day go or how did my week go so that is one pointer right you certainly can do wonders if you are able to do introspection and retrospection so two questions to note about you can note down these questions one question is how did i behave on what basis i took decisions right everything comes into how did i behave and second thing is how i should have behaved what has happened and how it should have been okay so this is about and then when you took when we work with people without work see today every company most of the companies are saying that we want to go with a hybrid model why because the culture and everything you have to work with people then the productivity will improve that's what their research says and i do believe uh, 100% on that aspect so social awareness and how do you manage see many things can be done based on your uh, relationship management if you have a good relationship you are able to build rapport you can do wonders so there are different aspects as defined by daniel goldman self awareness what all will come i think i will share a link on this one and then you can uh, go through it but you can spend couple of minutes and if you have any questions do ask me so when we talk about emotional intelligence right these are the areas we should be focusing on and i am 100% sure that you will be able to relate this to your professional world whether it may be conflict management is a team work empathy or uh, organizational awareness positive outlook and other stuff yeah it's about the cultural aspects so when we talked about uh, social competence right so awareness is required so what is about the organizational awareness that's what we want to highlight here is about the aware about the ways of working the culture the attitude the mindset the belief of uh, organization okay some of this as a homework you can do um, if you categorize this into eq iq and ai um, you be the self judge that what is more important and where you should be spending more time on okay so what can be done so that we get the benefit of this one so i am going to talk about five tools let's see whether we get enough time and then we'll we can cover more but yeah i will be sharing the slides as well you will get the slides as well so first is about self retrospection so where you can use it as a scrum master or for as a human being for any event you can ask these two questions after every event 
what did i do uh, what did i do good so focus on positive aspects like if you look at it uh, positive outlook is about self management we have a tendency right imposter syndrome that we focus more on our loopholes that what i did not do well but if you really want to improve your emotional intelligence then focus on good things what went well you can list down all the things which went well it will give you a booster right you will be aware about what is working well for you and second thing is you have to ask yourself that if i get a second chance to do the same stuff how i would do it differently so say you are working in a scrum team you are a product owner or a team member or a architect or scrum master or an agile coach you just think if i get a second chance to do the same stuff how we would do it differently and let me tell you right after the interview you appear for any interview right you always think about are aisa bolna chahiye tha i missed here so if you are really looking for a new job right and then you do this kind of retrospection you will have to appear for less interview any hr people here i <laughs> because it was not supposed to be said but yeah this really works well for any event so let's talk about the uh, sprint planning or you have pi planning or whatever you talk about this is the way to go whether you do it daily or you do it weekly but the best thing is you do it after the event and list down what are the learnings you just have to say okay i am going to do this one so you can rehearse as well and then can move forward let's talk about second mirroring anybody aware about the nlp neuro linguistic programming the mirroring is different there and then what i have presented here so it's about the indian philosophy right we call it vedant and everything the simple gist of vedant is other person is like me the other person has same feeling same emotions same desire which is like me almost 90% would be common we don't go to the exceptions but the 90% is common so if you are looking for respect the other person is also looking for respect if you think that you should be appreciated the other person also will be happy if the person is appreciated if you believe in trust and transparency right we have to think the other person also in the same boat if somebody is angry on me and then i respond i react directly right or somebody reacts to me directly i am not happy the same will happen if somebody someone says something to me and i directly react without even thinking so what you say right be present and then self aware those are not very simple thing and self awareness i think socrates had said that know thyself so we have to think about our feelings emotions and where you will be good at it you have to figure it out what is the root cause for this one why i behaved the way i behaved is it somebody was watching me and then my behavior got changed or this is my value system and based on that i have taken the decision you will have to introspect on that aspect so first one is self retrospection mirroring third one is pattern interruption so once you do the first and second step right like you are aware about your emotions the way you take decisions and other stuff then how do you change it how do you build a new habit how do you change your old habit you might have noticed so whatever i am sharing right you can use it for your team working with the team it can be a manager it can be a person as well as a scrum master you are already a team coach right so you should be sharing with them as well you can coach and mentor them that what i have observed like feedback is another feedback is another coaching tool you can use 
but here you can coach them that when you do x when x happens instead of doing y i will do x so in traffic you are going right and someone cuts you when i'm going in a traffic and someone cuts me instead of yelling at that person i will think that he really need to go to hospital urgently you can create your own ones but like yeah some of the examples right when some of the team member a particular team member doesn't come on time for the meeting what do we do we yell at them or we clap we just try to ridicule that behavior you can change your habit based on this one you become more emotional intelligent person there are then can be any example right so what you need to do is when x happens think about your professional world as a scrum master as a product owner and list down couple of scenarios this is a homework for you so though we know that emotional intelligence is very important and after knowing that if we don't take any action we are not going to make any progress if we know that the emotional intelligence mastery is very important and there are tools available and we don't take any action on it we are not going to improve anything a change is mid sprint right so if we are accommodating all the request mid sprint or we are directly denying the request or we are not consulting the team you can change your behavior because everything is wired right so it will take time but practice is the only thing you have to do start with 100 this is about receiving and giving feedback but also a leadership quality right in the in the slide about 12 competencies four domains and 12 competencies we did look at it so what is start with 100 normally we said yeah we we judge the person when we give some rating yeah he is good he is exceptionally well he is extraordinary but what we can do here is we assign 100% to everyone all our team members and then the next step would be whenever you observe some behavior which will move them down below 100 you just reach out to them and provide uh, uh, feedback to them or do coaching and mentoring that uh, when you do x it impacts xyz in certain way so that is a feedback you can give so start with 100 so you become a true leader right or servant leader so you have to serve people and you at the same time you are a leader as well so how do you get best of both world this is the way so for say as i mentioned earlier it's about the personal life as well for your kids those who are married you can employ this one they are already at 100 person and my effort as a scrum master as a father to make sure that they don't go below 100 whenever i see any opportunity i will go and talk to them crucial conversation this is a very very important aspect so what is crucial conversation when do you say a particular conversation is crucial it's already there uh, when opinions vary the stakes are high and the emotions are strong and at that time if you can respond to the situation if you don't cut the communication channel then you can uh, move forward so it's not just about uh, those two aspects one thing you have to uh, always uh, think about is what is right right normally if i go to the next one the third option right normally we only talk about two options i am right or you are right but when the crucial conversations will be there we have to ask about what is right and that is the third option you can talk about so first thing is be clear about your intentions right clarify what you want 
and remain focused when you discuss with the team members or anybody observe an active listening right i haven't covered the active listening part in this one but the listening is not just about what you hear but what you see as well right the tone and everything that's why face to face communication is very important you get to understand that what they are talking about and other stuff make it safe stay calm because that's what you want to do right you want to control your emotions and then still pitch it so you can move forward focus on facts and behaviors so observations and judgment are different thing uh, you might observe a person is uh, coming late to a meeting and that is my observation but he is very arrogant she is very arrogant that's why she is coming late to office that is my conclusion or judgment so we have to differentiate between these two focus on facts and behavior what are the observations you have made seek mutual purpose we have look for the win win situation and uh, share your story listen to their story as well and come up with the, some action items that's what can help you there are other uh, toolkit as well active listening giving feedback powerful questioning the third option and other stuff but we do not want to cover based on the uh, availability of time and then maybe 5 minutes are available you can ask questions and then you can move forward yeah we have 5 minutes available yeah uh, So may I know what is your role in your organization? I'm a lead scrum master. Lead scrum master, right? So if a lead scrum master or a manager or a senior manager sets the working agreement, team members not going to follow it. So it's about team agreement that once in a week or twice in a week, whenever we meet, uh, Monday or Thursday, we will have camera on. so couple of advice i can rec recommendation i can give is one is people uh, don't like surprises so when people join and then you say now turn on the camera they want so what we used to do is our retrospective everyone has to turn on camera so please be prepared that is one thing second thing is about team agreement if i said that you know everybody should come at 9:30 for daily scrum that who has decided manager people don't come team members won't come but give the team a chance okay because there are xyz benefits we should be doing our daily scrum early and then they might say okay we can come at 10:30 but if they have agreed they have committed they will try to fulfill it so like lot of hours we are in the chat session for joining by the camera Okay. Yeah, but you can share your experience that how you are able to do it. But that's that's also your responsibility to the organization. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think you have done so many things. It's just about sharing uh, your best practices to other stuff and how you have been benefited. Great, thank you. Yeah. This is a very common problem. I know, not having a camera feature. But the Zoom charter is inside. After few weeks, it will again. Yeah, go ahead. Generally, what I know that I did, having a great culture and a team, having a great bond, Eventually, uh, the kind of partners team has uh, you know, uh, can build that you don't even need to switch on camera, that they are so transparent, you know, they are in the same environment and it works for us. Okay, great. It's a long term thing, I know. Just wanted to add just one thing that if you for the team agreement, if the responsible person or accountable, sorry, accountability only lies with the scrum master, it's not going to work. Each and every team member should be responsible and that's what you can get the results. Yeah, last question. No. No. That's what, it's beyond AI and IT. Right? The EQ is the key aspect beyond IQ and uh, AI, beyond IQ and AI. You should be focusing more on EQ. That's what the can AI help in any way for EQ? And yeah, yeah, certainly AI. From there is another session. I think um, a workshop is there. I would suggest you by Vijay and Ketan. I think uh, how Gen AI can help on this one. So you certainly can ask. That. But what I believe, my personal belief is, when uh, human beings work together, 1 plus 1 is not always 2, huh? because it's not mathematics. So many EQ plays a major role here. Okay, thank you very much for uh, the session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rahul. Now I will request Prafulla from Theatre Every to felicitate our speaker, Rahul Shah. Yeah, and on the screen you see a Menti QR code. Please scan if at all your network <laughs> supports. We know that, you know, that was something that we just discovered here. But please, I will encourage highly to save this QR code and send your feedback offline as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. One, one announcement to be made, in track one, transformation, agility in ITES, there was a session which was scheduled which we were not able to continue because of technical glitches. We will be continuing that session now in the track one, so please whosoever wants to attend that can be in track one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rahul. Yeah, thank you. Do request everyone to provide some feedback, whatever that can, so that it's again a way for me to improve. Yes, somebody.